Y'all, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and we gotta talk about a powerful way to think about how you create your artist image, really amplifying your artist brand. There's three ways that we're gonna talk about this. The first one is called the Halloween test. It's something that I created when it comes to your personal brand is if your brand can be translated into a Halloween costume and you start to see people do that, then you know you have a strong brand. Now this just isn't for artists. You can see plenty of artists who have had Halloween costumes done of them, like Lil Yachty, TLC, Nelly and Kelly Rowland, Big Sean and Janae Aiko. There's a lot of people that these costumes have been made of, and this shows that you have a strong enough visual image. You can even look at Will Smith with Fresh Prince. Plenty of people do those costumes. It really kind of reflects on one of the greatest responsibilities of being an artist at times is just creating moments, right? Creating images and characters for audiences to mimic. And Halloween is pretty much that time to make it happen. Running through a list of other people who people have mimicked is Travis Scott. The Rodeo album cover was something that quite a few people made some dope costumes for. Birdman and Lil Wayne, people have made some funny costumes. And I can guarantee you that somebody this year on Halloween will be dressed as Doja Cat or more so a cow and it'll say, bitch, I'm a cow from the moment that Doja Cat created with the whole Moo song. That was a moment. People love taking those moments from culture and mimicking them on Halloween. That's one strong indicator that you've created a moment and actually got it to a certain level of awareness but you also have to have a strong visual brand for that to happen it doesn't mean you have to walk around necessarily with red hair like little yachty all the time but at least creating moments people do beyonce costumes but she doesn't really have a specific get up that she always wears like a costume but there's certain concerts and certain moments in time that she really did put a certain image on kind of like the single ladies video with the whole hand and everything now the second thing when it comes to having that strong unique brand is actually how you say things your actual voice you can think about a lot of artists that speak in specific ways but the most obvious and current one is cardi b people make fun of how she talks a lot and a lot of times when people can make fun of you and how you talk then you know you have something unique cardi <laughs> y'all like my manicure or whatever <laughs> so a lot of people be asking me like Oh, Cardi, what do you eat for breakfast? You have so much energy. Ah, 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 ah. When people start to make fun of how you talk or other parts of your brand and they start to mimic it, they're actually helping your brand because they're not only ingraining it in their own heads, they're ingraining it in other people's heads that they're around and whoever else they have a reach out to. And remember, this isn't just for artists. You see it for people like even Obama, a politician. He had a very unique way of talking and people made fun of it, right? He was very methodical with the hands that he he did and his voice was very I'm not even gonna try to do it that's not my thing but y'all know what I'm talking about so the third and last thing is perspective now this isn't as superficial as a certain way of talking like your voice or a certain way of dressing it's a real X factor and I believe that every artist that has a real fan base has this now what do i mean by that once again it's not straightforward it's really the way you say things the way you talk about things if you think about drake they say drake would say something like you know begging for a girl to get off the strip pole or trying to be her sugar daddy you know the type of things that people say drake would do as a matter of fact there were a lot of memes going around about it for a given period of time and then if you think about how somebody might make fun of an artist like dmx they're gonna get real uh, uh, like they're gonna make fun of the voice but they're also gonna add some barks in there and they're all but they're also going to be aggressive in whatever the approach is to whatever they're talking about i think a perfect example of all three of these things is the migos they have unique voices they have unique ways of dressing and the style that they brought to the game but then they also have a perspective in what they talk about they talk about certain types of things and that connects with fan bases on a deeper level because you have your way of doing things i I think the best way to consider perspective and communicating something unique is the fact that if you think about your parents or whoever raised you somebody you know well like a friend you can mimic your friend you can mimic your parent and how they talk or something that they would say because you know them that well that creates sorts of inside jokes with your siblings or anybody else who knows that person and that's the value of perspective once again the first two a strong visual brand image you don't necessarily have to have but it's powerful the same for a voice voice but at the end of the day if you don't have that unique perspective and way of talking about things as an artist 
that people can connect with, it's going to really be hard to differentiate yourself because they could probably get whatever you selling from somebody else if you're not selling your unique self. So with that said, I think I want to leave with a perfect example of just a video clip of a comedian named Ari Spears when he was mocking a few artists. And I don't want you to just pay attention to the impressions that he's making because he does sound like the artist, but the things that he says sounds like something that the artist would say themselves. And while you watch, you might as well go ahead, hit that like button, and share this video as well. Yo, it's your man DMX. Where's my dogs at? Where's my dogs? Uh huh. One, yeah, one, yeah. Yo, I done told y'all dogs about fucking with me. I done told y'all dogs about fucking with me. When a dog starts to bark, it's followed by the pipe. That's when you feel the pain. And you head for the life. Don't get upset, nigga. That's just how a dog do. And I won't stop here until the dogs throw. I bring that real sound, baby. It's your boy in the building, ho! <laughs> it's young Hover, homie, I told you the king's over. I got it locked, oh, yo, shit, stop. Set stock, caught a persona made for martyr. Think you got it locked on barber. I'm taking the game farther. I'm Croy when I hit, hell and out when I switch. I'm like Ike Turner, and what's love when I'm pissed? If you having girl problems, I'll go bad for you, son. I got 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one. It's your boy, nigga. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe.